What's up, Madden 17 fans? My name is Cody, and in today's video, I want to share with you the top three ways to get more pressure in Madden NFL 17. The first question we must answer uh, when tackling this idea of pressure is, number one, why Why would we blitz in the first place? What's the, what's the real point? Uh, and, and for me, anyways, where, where I wanted to kind of take it is, for me, it's pressure bus pipes. If you ever think, if you think about it like this, what, what we're really trying to accomplish is we're trying to force our opponent to make a mistake. We're trying to provoke them to make mental mistakes. And so the way you do that is by putting pressure on them. And pressure can be, there's, there's different types of pressure. What we're going to focus on today is blitzing pressure. And so uh, the way that you're going to kind of do this is by utilizing blitzing pressure to attack your opponent. Now, this is something that uh, is actually a little bit harder to do in Madden 17. Uh, in years past, it's it's been pretty simple uh, in all reality to get pretty solid edge pressure. But this season, it's actually a little bit more challenging. So I want to share with you a couple practical ways to do that. Uh, if you want to follow along, I'm in the New England Patriots defensive playbook. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be working out of the 335 uh, odd formation. So let's see here. Let me just pull up a standard passing play here. Let's see what we got. And then we're going to work out of the nickel 335 odd. Now, the play that we're going to utilize, um, actually, I changed my mind. Let's, let's work out of the 245. So the, the nickel 245, and the play that we're going to utilize is the buck slant at three. You can also utilize the nickel blitz too. So both, both concepts will work just fine. Now, what I want to do first is uh, I want to show you a standard cover two defense. So this is what you're gonna get most of the time. Baseline, we're gonna baseline and press here just to give it a, a, a standard look. Now, if you take a look here, what you're gonna find is if we snap the ball, this is gonna get decent pressure, but nobody's gonna come in free. I'm gonna have plenty of time to, to, to make a read and, and at least get rid of the ball if I find myself under duress. What we're trying to do is we're trying to force the quarterback basically to, to throw a hot read. And the way we're going to do that is by getting pressure, getting the guy clean in off the edge. Okay, so let's let's work at this a little bit and let's tinker it out. So the best way to kind of do this, the first thing is you want to focus on in Madden 17. You want to focus on the edges. So the edges are really the key because there's a new system in the game that's going to basically prevent you from blitzing up the middle uh, with the defensive linemen. So what you want to do is you want to use uh, the edges. Okay, so what we're going to try to do is just just straight up blitz that left side nickel back, and then we're going to go through and see if we can get it to get the pressure to come in. As you see there, the pressure didn't come in. The offensive lineman did a good job of picking that up. So what we're going to do, uh, as kind of a compliment, is we're going to spread our defensive lineman out. That way, that hopefully what we're going to get here is we're going to crash the lineman in. That way that they're they're kind of crashing toward the middle, and then we're going to blitz that guy off that left side. Let's see if this works here. So snap the ball, and this time we get that guy clean in off the edge. Okay, now the reason that this applies uh, to the buck slant three. So the buck slant three, the interesting thing about it is it's got a couple of different things you can do. Number one, it encompasses our second, uh, our second feature here, which is to blitz from depth. You'll find in this game, guys, that it's actually really, really good to blitz the, the backers uh, like, like Hightower and Roberts here from the middle of the field. And the more depth you get with this nickel back, the cleaner the blitz is going to come in. So you want to spread your guys out. And what you really want to do is you really want to kind of spread them out, blitz them from depth, because what that's going to do is it's going to make them take wider angles. So if we actually just ran this with the Buck Slant 3 concept, it looks very similar to that Tampa 2, this type of thing coming off that left side. And what you'll find here is we're going to get that pressure come in very clean off that left edge. The third tip that I want to give you is disguise. So one thing that's interesting to me is if you go through a standard cover three defense, what you're going to find is it changes, the, the formation changes a little bit. Normally you'll see these corners on the left side like Logan Ryan and Malcolm Butler. They'll be backed off. And sometimes what you'll see also with guys from time to time is they'll move this guy in, but they'll only move him in when they want to blitz him. So say, say for example, they have some kind of pressure set up, and what they're going to do is they're going to do something like this, right? So this is similar to Buck Slant 3, okay? Something like this here, and we're going to send pressure. What, what most people will do 
is to only move him in when they send pressure. What you want to do, though, what I would encourage you to do is you want to also be able to fake the pressure. So we have our base pressure, which is to just uh, set that left edge pressure up by spreading the guys out and then uh, blitzing that slot corner. And you can do that out of anything. But what you also want to do is maybe you want to audible. So say you want to audible out, and we're just going to run basic coverage. Um, we're just going to run some basic coverage defense, standard standard rush here. I want to bring him in just like I would normally bring him in, just like I was blitzing, just as if it was another uh, another buck slant three. So you want to kind of set it up like you're going to send some pressure off both edges. At this point, the quarterback's really not going to know what to do. Okay, so now you drop back in coverage. He forces a throw quick, and he got a chance to get in the way and uh, and really make something happen. So just something to kind of think about, guys. Uh, I know that there's, there's definitely a bunch of different strategies. And what a lot of people, the mistake a lot of people make when they're considering pressure is they do a two, they do two or three things wrong here. So the, the top three mistakes is number one, they don't disguise it, so you can tell easily that they're going to blitz from the left because they're going to bring this guy in. Number two, and, and and really more importantly, what they don't do is they can't send it. They don't know how to use utilize the pressure universally, so they're only good from one formation. And they're not, they're not able to be multiple with their sets, multiple with their concepts, and really utilize every playbook to its full advantage. The and then the final thing that a lot of people I think do that that really is is interesting to me is they try to use pressure the wrong way. Again, pressure is about really making forcing your opponent to make mental mistakes. But when you think about it, guys, you want to use pressure. Every now and then, it's 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 really more of a, a counter, okay? It's not a base defense, and a lot of people I think make that mistake. They try to start with pressure, and then go to coverage. But the problem is when you do that, what happens is, if someone doesn't have to deal with your pressure, then they're going to be able to be patient in the pocket. But if you start out and really mix in your coverage and your pressure defenses, it's going to force your opponent to really not have a clue of what you're doing. So. If you disguise, I mean, if you can think about this, guys, if you if you really disguise this defense well and, and then you can make it flip and do all these different things with it, what you'll find is it's going to take you a long way. Let me just be very frank with you. The most effective defenses are not the most talented defenses. They're not the best scheme defense. What the most effective defenses do is they do a very good job of figuring out, number one, how to get pressure on the quarterback but not just in a sense that you're going to get somebody free, how to actually put pressure on your opponent and forcing them into making mistakes. You've got to get them pressured because under pressure, most people will make mistakes with their reads. So something to consider, guys, but those are the top three tips. Just a quick recap. Number one, focus on the edges. Number two, always try to make it look the same. That way you're in a constant disguise. And then number three, make sure that you're blitzing from depth. Use those middle linebackers. You'd be surprised at some of the pressure that you'll get with them. Thank you guys for your time. And if you like this video, be sure to subscribe to the channel because that way 